And no rain right now in the immediate Dallas Fort Worth area, at least nothing significant. We have some storms southeast, south, and west, but a closer look shows that we've just been dealing with a couple of sprinkles from time to time this morning. You can still see some of that now moving back into Tarrant County. A little bit of light rain around Saginaw and Eagle Mountain Lake, Lake Worth, also White Settlement, Alito, and Benbrook dealing with, again, just very light rain. Some more significant thunderstorms will be likely later on today. Uh, some heavier rain in parts of Isla, I'm sorry, uh, Henderson and Anderson counties, also parts of uh, Ellis and Hill counties getting some of that rain. Here east of Athens and northeast of Palestine, some heavier downpours centered around Pointer and Frankston there in Anderson County. Here's Eastland County, southwest of the Dallas Fort Worth area. We have a flash flood warning in effect for Eastland County. It's been raining heavily here for the past couple of hours, and the radar estimated rainfalls indicating we could have seen over three or four inches of rain in parts, parts of Eastland County in a short amount of time. Here's a future sky forecast. I do expect about a 50% chance of rain during the afternoon and evening in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So plan on bringing the rain gear with you to work or school. Temperatures in the 80s today because of the increased cloud cover and rain chance. Now tomorrow we should start off quiet, but as we heat up the very humid air that we have in place, more scattered thunderstorms in the forecast tomorrow afternoon, a 50% chance for your Friday. Again, primarily afternoon and evening hours. And then we'll do it all over again on Saturday. Saturday, a 40% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. But these rain chances will stay fairly elevated all the way through the end of the weekend. So you can see today a 50% chance. Same story tomorrow. A 40% chance Saturday, back up to a 50% chance on Sunday. And then rain chances should trail off a bit as we get into the beginning of next week. How much rain could we see? Well, as we head through the entire weekend, I think one to two inches of rain is fairly likely. And this is much needed rain. We just ended the driest May in 90 years. So we'll take every drop of rain we can get this time of year, and especially this year with the, the drought already showing its uh, ugly head here in parts of North Texas. So 50% chance of rain today, tomorrow, 40% chance Saturday, but then back up to 50% chance on Sunday. Highs in the 80s, lows near 70, and then the rain chances kind of go away as we make our way through the middle of next week.